Hi everyone, today we will be talking about mucinous carcinoma. Mucinous carcinoma of the breast is a rare form of invasive ductal carcinoma, meaning that the cancer begins in the milk ducts and spreads into nearby tissue. This type of tumor is made up of abnormal cells that flow in pools of mucin, a key component in what we know as mucus. Many types of cancer cells produce some mucus. In mucinous carcinoma, however, mucin becomes part of the tumor and surrounds the breast cancer cells. This rare subtype accounts for about 2% of all breast carcinoma and is extremely rare in men. Although mucinous carcinoma can be diagnosed at any age, it tends to affect postmenopausal women in their 60s to early 70s. The prevalence is only 1% in women younger than 35 years old. Like many cancers, it may present asymptomatic at first, and over time a palpable lump may be felt. On average, it is usually 3 centimeters, but it can always be smaller or larger. It also tends to be less aggressive and responds well to treatment. Symptoms may include breast or armpit pain, change in the breast size or shape, nipple discharge, or skin dimpling. On ultrasound, mucinous carcinoma will appear as a complex mass with cystic and solid components. The margins will be microlobulated. Because it's complex, it will have mixed echogenicities. However, it can also be isochoic to surrounding breast tissue. Increase through transmission is common and it can also be vascular as shown in this image on the right. On mammography, circumscribed and lobulated breast lesions are common findings for mucinous carcinoma. They also show low density, partly faded or obscured margins, and 20% of them could not even show up on the images. Calcifications may also be seen, but pretty rare. This is a case of a lesion found in a routine screening in a 52-year-old female's breast. In this particular case, the lesion is isochoic to the surrounding tissue, and you can also notice posterior enhancement. Color was also thrown on it, and it didn't show any vascularity. Here are the mammogram images. One picture is zoomed in on it, so you can clearly see its margins, which look a little faded and speculated. As far as treatments go, even though mucinous carcinoma is an invasive breast cancer, it tends to be less aggressive type than, and responds well to treatment. It is less likely to spread to the lymph nodes than any other type of breast cancer. And treatment is based on surgery with post-operative hormone therapy and hormone responsive tumors. Axillary staging is recommended by lymph node biopsy and administration of adjuvant radiotherapy and hormone therapy, but it can be admitted in cases with serious risk factors. This subtype carries a relatively good prognosis. The tendency to metastasize is less than other types of cancer, and the five-year survival rate is 95% with stage 2, 75% in stage 3, and a five-year survival rate of 35% in stage 4. Mucinous carcinoma can be palpable because they tend to manifest as soft masses, so it is important to perform a breast self-examination to detect early cancers. And again, they do occur in older women around the age of 70, but with early preventative care, a good prognosis is fairly common in this type of cancer.